Welcome to Super Comfy. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your skin look more realistic and comfy UI using this workflow. As you can see, it's very conservative and changes very little detail and makes the skin look a lot more human like. So, the first thing we want to do is make sure we have all the model checkpoints. So, we only need two. We have Realistic Vision. Uh, this is a SD 1.5 checkpoint. And the link is going to be right here when you click on it. And then we have the 8 step Hyper Laura. I put a note here, you can use any SD 1.5 checkpoint, but you just have to adjust the CFG and shift uh, depending on the scheduler and sampler. So these settings are going to be what works for this specific model. So once you have the models downloaded, you're going to need to put them in the right folders. Uh, I think Laura's go in the folder called Laura's and then checkpoints go in the checkpoints folder. I renamed all of them so they're not going to match up. So over here is where you can upload your image. So let's just switch to another image I already uploaded. So let's do sample. And typically you want to input higher resolution images. So if they're small, this workflow will not do as well. The bigger, the better, but around like 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels is a good point. You probably don't want to go any higher than that. So you, you should down a scale, but otherwise if your image is smaller or around 1024, then you could upscale it. So in this case, I'm going to show you that it works just fine with smaller images. So you can input your image and then click generate and boom, nothing should happen. So this is because the first thing you should do after you select your image is you got to mask out the skin. So in our case, we just want to go right around the edges. And then let's decrease a little bit. And there you go. It should be good enough. And for some reason, my comfy is bugged. It doesn't show the mask, but anyway, it's just there. So these are probably the default settings. Whatever settings I leave in this video is going to be the default. So I put a note up here. I want to adjust the Dino 0 to 0.3-ish, and then CFG 1.1 to 2, and then steps 1 to 8. And it's going to vary a lot depending on your Im input image and the resolution. So this is a smaller image. So... When we click generate, yeah, it's going to be a more pronounced change. So if you don't like that, you can do two things. One, reduce the step count. As you can see, it just made it a lot softer. Or two, you can change the CFG. So let's try like 1.4. And then, as always, you can change the denoise. Where is it? So let's try like 0.1, see what that looks like. There, I feel like the CFG is too high still. So you can try 1.1, four steps. There, it looks pretty conservative. Uh, I forgot to tell you, you want to disable image sharpen. You want to do that after you find the optimal settings. So in our case, we can see we probably don't even need it. So let's change back to eight steps. Yeah, you just want to keep messing around with it, basically. So let's do 1.25. And then let's find a better seed. Yeah, this is pretty good. And let's fix and then turn back on the sharpen. And there, I would say it looks a little over sharpened, but 
from the beginning result to the end. I'd say that's pretty good. Maybe you want to mess around with the sigma values a little bit. So maybe like 0.3. And yeah, that's a little better. But this is how you should just work around your workspace. Just mess around with these values. Uh, disable image sharpen. And then let's go ahead and do a different picture. Let's do that one. So let's mask. There's technically an edge right here, but it's blurred out, so I don't think it matters too much. Just the main things you're looking at is what you want to mask. And if you accidentally do something too much, you can do right click and that will remove. So that looks pretty good. It doesn't really have to be perfect. It just has to be generally close. So let's go ahead and generate and see what we get from the default. It already looks decent. Uh, down here, there's some weird noise I don't really like. Uh, so I'm just going to turn up the CFG, but turn on the steps. So let's try six again. Oh yeah, I forgot to change the <laughs> seed. There, it looks a little better. See, so yeah, that's decent. The eye looks a little strange. Let me turn that sharpening back on and tile overlaps a little funny. It should be either 1.25 or, or 0.25. Um, the bigger the image, the more lower you can get away with the overlap. Um, but any value around 0.1 to 0.3 is good. You only want to go higher than that because then you're are overlapping more than half the tile so that's pretty inefficient so yeah maybe do two cfg but four steps let's try that i'd say that looks pretty good as you can see the lips get better texture the eyelashes eyebrows so if you want even less changes, you could do two steps, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is a lot more conservative. But let's go ahead and go back to the original image for the last example. So it's called example. Oh, number two, I believe. Yeah. So as always, Oh, wait, we can do thick brush for this one. So go around the edge. Zoom out a little bit. And by the way, these uh, random portraits, they were originally generated on default SD 1.5 model. And then we upscaled it using uh, SDXL. So pretty cool i would say for being a super tiny model um okay so let's generate and see what we first get sorry pretty decent from the start uh, i would say i would like some more steps and then we could reduce the cfg Yeah, because uh, the problem with bigger images is if there's like eyes that aren't in the same tile, you could get a slightly different eye color. So you might have to re-roll the noise seed a few times to get the value or the matching eyes. Uh, another thing you could do is just go into Photoshop and just edit them to be the same color. But in this case, it looks close enough i'd say yeah they both look greenish blue
but if you don't want to mask the image every time, all you have to do is just delete all of this and just output straight to a preview image. Or actually, you just do this. You drag the image straight into the sampler. So yeah, this is gonna look weird, but here's the actual full image with the denoise applied everywhere, not just the mask. So I'm gonna delete that and then control Z. Uh, actually, I'll just keep control Z until, there we go. So now it's gonna be back to normal. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna pretty much leave settings as they are, I think. So 0.25, 1, 1.25, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, it looks fine. But if you have any questions or get stuck with something, you can always join the Discord, the community Discord, and then uh, I try to help you if I can. Subscribe if this helps you, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.